Essendon and St Kilda met in the third game of the night to decide who would advance directly to the quarterfinals. We practiced a lot over summer and a lot of that stuff came out uh, in that first game. Obviously now the boys have got to get up and uh, perform again and um, yeah, we'll see what happens this, this game. Both had scored clear-cut wins over Brisbane earlier in the evening and the Bombers made nine changes between their two games. Early on, Patrick Ryder bobbed up like a periscope. Stuart Crammery got the first major for the Bombers before Ryan Gamble replied for the Saints. Then he comes and kicks another one. St Kilda then took the upper hand when Tom Ledger and Stephen Milne found the big sticks. Hitting the pack hard was Milne. McAvoy to Milne. He's away. Has a goal coming up. No one comes to him. Slannery belatedly. Milne puts it through for a goal. Will Johnson dribbled one over the line for the Saints before Milne made it five goals in 15 minutes to give St Kilda a 32-10 half-time lead. Advantage to Milne. So Stevie Milne bangs it through. And the Saints charge away now. Essendon had territorial advantage for about eight minutes without scoring before Angus Monfries showed initiative. Split the indifference, lines up and kicks a goal. Travis Collier then made it a nine-point game. This moves around and that's beautiful. Wonderful execution by Carlisle, puts it through. St Kilda stuck on its half-time score as the Bombers honed in on the lead. Oh, uh, Nick Rebold going back was gumbled. It lunges after the football in goes Smith. Somehow hurling. The Saints responded to Essendon's charge and gained a little breathing space. Graham, no free kick, he's unlucky. Graham over the top, well played, Montagna. It came down to Mark Williams to level the scores after the siren. Got to take the mark. He's got oh, it. <laughs> Williams has got it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you can make yourself very popular with one kick. He's down there. He's very popular. What a fairy tale. James Hurd can do no wrong. What a great finish to a terrific match. Full credit to the midfielders uh, to get us back in the game. Uh, the first game against Brisbane, uh, the boys did uh, play to their structures. And, you know, that second half, I uh, want to change perception at the Essendon Footy Club. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.